All right, just a little demo on grinding stones or or monos. Um, which is sometimes, you know, misunderstood by people. I've written about them, but um, I decided decided maybe a little demonstration video on them would help. Now here, I'll just start out with what most people would see. You see the way that sets on there, on a flat surface. You see that it's flat on the surface there, and then it's kind of an odd shaped one. You got these little indents in it and around, and you think that, well, that's just a wear and tear on, on it, but in many cases, it is not. Like in this case, it fits, your hand fits right around in those little notches and places, and then this was used in this manner on a flat grinding stone, um, like that. This is a really neat one that's been used quite a bit. You can see it's still got the, the oils from the hand on it, but uh, um, very unique, not something that you often see, but uh, I have found you know, a few of these like this. And, and, and others that are in like manner that have that, where they have kind of a handle on them, and, and where they use them like that to grind. Now, on the others, you know, some of the most understood ones, that looks like a normal river stone um, little um, pebble or whatever you want to call it. And until you pick it up, and then you you look on the other side and how it's all flat and been used on the flat grinding stone. Um, these are shaped um, so that, um, I mean, they're smooth on the top, but they make, you know, it's pretty comfortable to where you could use it on a flat surface there. and. Uh, and, and, and the other thing is, is you find these, I find them, near known campsites on the river banks. Um, that one, and then there's one like this. See, they're all different sizes, whatever worked for them. These, these ones are a little bit longer like this, and rounded a little bit on the top. More comfortable, and... And then you can see on the bottom where it's been really used as a grinding stone or polisher, and uh, or um, uh, mono. But uh, you can see all around where they've just kind of smoothed it out for their hand, and uh, and how it fits. It fits real comfortable around it. And then you used it in this manner on a flat grinding stone. Um, and you know I could go on. Here's one here. Now this might you think be, you know, might think it's a mistake, but it's not. It's uh, it's there so your thumb can fit. And you can grab this, even the palm of your hand. Makes it a little comfortable. And gives you a little bit of a um, something that where you can actually use it. Use a little force on it without it slipping off. Um, I found several of these like this. And it's flat on the bottom, used on a on a flat grinding stone in this manner, like this. Um, and then, and then you've got uh, these type right here. These here, as you can see, I got them all kind of set, like this one here, volcanic rock. And you see how it's flat on the bottom here. It looks like a little residue oil or whatever left on there where the hand goes, but you can see how these are shaped and they're kind of, you know, they're shaped so that you you can actually, your hand actually fits around them, your palm of your finger or your thumb fits on them. And you can even find sometimes on these finger marks, a little bit of places to grab onto right at the, you know, at the edge there. And then they were used in like manner, like this. You can see how that 
and it um, and then you know used on a on a flat grinding stone and, and let me see if I can find uh, some with the same kind of pattern you see how it's flat on the bottom and then these sides and again they, they would use it in their hand like um, and use it on the grinding surface um, they kind of you know have a similar look you can see how that's curved around again on the flat side and how and how your you know there's a little place for your finger right there you can see that flat on the bottom and then um, if it's pretty comfortable in your hand and you use it in like manner like that it's funny how they they kind of have that little curve little curve in there and and then here also in it makes it and then a, and then a little finger mark there and it makes it real comfortable to grab that and and grind um, similar type of deal here see how that is see it's flat on the bottom and uh, and how you could uh, actually you know your fingers come fit right around and it fits right down on there on there on the, on the grinding surface without really rubbing your hands against the grinding surface um, but you can see these shapes are similar similar how they are shaped kind of like a cone shaped like a normal pedestal would be like this except round where these are flat so it's a side grinder um, and then of course we have the ones that are not so much side grinders. All those sometimes like this one would be used for both pestle. Um, but I would, you know, you can see how how it is there, and it, this is kind of like a handle. It would be used as a handle, most likely more like this type of an action. It looks to me like you know they've done a lot of grinding right in there. So it's kind of it's a it's not so much a side grinder. It's closer to a pedestal, but nonetheless, it, it's for grinding. And then you'd call this a pedestal right here. It's been shaped, formed and into your you know pedestal. And uh, as these these are more pedestals, although. Although they they use them in any you know they used them for hammer stones and all kinds of stuff and you can see that they have a cone shaped look of these in here so I mean you could it looks like it's been ground used a little bit like that and your hand fits real comfortable on that but on the other hand also um, a pedestal you know more grinding from you know using the bottom. A lot of times they turn these around and use hammer stones like this too. They used them for quite a few different things, but um, that and here's a another pedestal type piece that uh, that you can use as a grinding surface on the bottom here. You can see how they've done that. Again, they could have used they 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 use these as multi tools. They just didn't use it for one thing. A lot of times for hammer stones. There's another one. Looks like a side grinder, two and a pestle. You could use for both. And a lot of times, well, you can see it's kind of rough on the edge there. Um, again, they might have used it as a hammer stone on both sides, but but mainly for grinding. You can see. Anyway, you can see. Again, here's this little notch in there, you know, it's got it, it's got it like a little bit more defined than this one, but yet it's there, this here thing, you can find it in that too. And this is your thumb and your palm fit right along there, and you see how it's flat on the bottom. Um, again, this one 
has the form of a pestle. There's a side grinder. And your thumb just fits right along there. And some of these are almost spent, looks like. Used so much that they're almost down to where they can't use them again. Who knows, they might have even not, you know, stopped using this one, but it looks like it might have had some more use in it. It fits pretty comfortable in your hand. That and this one here. Pestle type thing, but a side grinder. Flat on the bottom. And uh, just real comfortable to, to hold like that. And it's sometimes more comfortable to hold it like this than a normal pestle. They just hold like this. I mean, it fits so nicely in your hand around the top and you know doing a lot of grinding there. Again, you can see the pedestal type form but it's flat, used on the bottom. And you know, your fingers and your everything just fits so comfortably right around it. Gives a good grip and makes it good for for grinding. Again, pedestal type form. This one looks either like you know it's been it's been almost ground down all the way then you can see you know the grinding surface there your hand still fits on it pretty good and then I'd use it like this it's pretty comfortable how that fits um, and then they, yeah like that another one pedestal type form you can see and uh, this one here, you can see just a little bit, uh, you know, formed just a little bit to where you'd think that it was used more in a more of a bowl, slightly indented um, matate, but nonetheless, well, very well used. As here's one out of looks like a granite, and uh, again, you can see how. It's it's got a really smooth grinding surface there, and being used, and uh, fits comfortable again. Just a little bit smaller, um, but again in the pedestal form. Yeah, well, there's a lot of a lot more, you know, the rounded ones, the round ones. Like here's an here's one, you know, looks like a pebble, a stone, or a river stone. Hand fits on it nicely. And you turn it and you can see the, the grinding surface and it's a little discolored sometimes the oils and the grains can still be seen in it and this is a really nice one and uh, fits so comfortable in your hand um, that uh, for a more of a round matate um, here's one here that uh, you can see it looks like they could have used that on both sides and look how perfectly round that is and you can see the pecking and grinding marks on it that's another way to to be able to distinguish it but uh, anyway uh, it, it takes a you know there's there's a lot that could be said but that kind of gives you a little demonstration on these you can see the pecking marks in here and then they would grind them down a little bit you know, and that to smooth them out. But you can still, when they pecked them, you know, they they were just like chipping it with, you know, with uh, breaking it away with a hammer stone. I don't really have a hammer stone right here with me, but uh, they would they would really rough it up and break it up into shape, you know, to form it. And then they would take a grinding, you know, and a braid or whatever to to um, smooth it down, polish it, and get it into shape, um, to, to the shape that was more comfortable for their use, and, uh, and that's a way you can tell a lot. Some of these, like this one, you know has been pecked and ground into shape, but it's been polished almost perfect. You know, you can't even see, you can see, well, you, you can hardly even see any pecking marks at all on it. It's really been ground down smooth. Um, and, and polished basically. Here you can see some pecking marks in them. Um, on the grinding surface sometimes you can't, right on the surface you can't see the pecking marks, but but you can, on a lot of them, you can see the pecking marks. 
Um, this one here, you can see, you can see the pecking marks on it. And then can ground down um, into shape, but uh, and to, to be smooth. Anyway, that's just a little bit of a long version of monos, but there, there's a lot more that could be said.